Hi, and welcome back to the Good Food Baddie channel. I'm Capri Lily, and today I'll be showing you how to make a fruit infused sea moss gel. I'm sharing this recipe by request because lots of people have asked how I make my fruit infused sea moss gel, so I am very, very, very excited to share with you. I'll be walking you through how to make fruit infused sea moss gel multiple ways. The flavor is delicious, the consistency is perfect, and you can easily just grab a spoonful and enjoy your intake of sea moss gel for the day. I usually start my mornings off with a couple spoonfuls of sea moss gel and go about my day. It's perfect, it tastes great, and it's super easy and quick. I will show you how to make mango infused sea moss gel using fresh and frozen fruit and strawberry infused sea moss gel. I'll start by grabbing my kitchen scale and measuring my dried raw sea moss. So I'm going to start with about 1.5 ounces of dried sea moss and you'll be surprised at how much this expands once it's soaked. So I'll add it to a large bowl and then clean it with spring water. If you're not sure how to prepare sea moss to make sea moss gel, I have a video and it's linked above and also in the description box. Make sure to check it out, but essentially I'm going to clean the sea moss a few times until all the dirt and debris is removed and then soak it in alkaline water for about 12 to 24 hours. And this is how it looks after I've cleaned it and then you'll see how much it expands after it's fully soaked. So now I have my fully soaked sea moss. I have frozen strawberries, frozen mangoes, fresh mango, and soaked dates. Here I have my clean soaked sea moss and here's how it looks once it's fully expanded. My dates have been soaking in water for about 20 to 30 minutes. Dates are considered nature's candy and they are natural sweetener, perfect for smoothies, juices, and in this fruit infused sea moss gel. Because they've been soaking in water, they'll be a bit easier to blend and give us a smooth consistency when making the gel. I'm using fresh and frozen fruit to show how to make fruit infused sea moss gel. Organic frozen fruit is a great option if you don't have access to organic fresh fruit. I highly recommend using organic fruit when making your fruit infused sea moss gel to make the cleanest, most nutrient dense sea moss gel. And the last thing you'll need is water. I like to use alkaline water. You can also use the water the sea moss soaked in if it's clean and free of any dirt. So now I'm adding all the soaked sea moss to the blender just so I can show you just how much that raw dried sea moss expanded. And I have seven and a half cups of sea moss here. I'm splitting the sea moss into three equal parts, 5.5 ounces each. And I have one in the blender to start and then two on separate plates. So I'm starting with a cup and a half of thawed frozen mango. Then I'll add five dates and one cup of water. At this point, you just want to blend everything together until it's nice and smooth and free of any clumps. Everything is well combined and it's completely smooth. This is the consistency that it looks like once it's done blending and it will thicken into more of a gel when you transfer it into the fridge. And with the amount of sea moss we blended with fruit and dates, it makes about 16 ounces of fruit infused sea moss gel. And you can see it's pretty thick and it will thicken even more when you put it in the fridge. I love this consistency because I can just scoop it up and eat it right out of the jar and it tastes super good like a free mango applesauce but we'll get to that part later in the video now i'll show you how to make the strawberry infused sea moss gel so when making the strawberry fruit infused sea moss gel you do pretty much the same exact thing add the sea moss add the frozen strawberries that are thawed and add the dates water and blend until it's smooth So here's what it looks like after it's done being blended. It's nice and smooth and everything's well incorporated. And this also fills up a 16 ounce jar. So now I'll show you how to make the fruit infused sea moss gel with a fresh mango. And here's how you cut your mango. You basically start by cutting around the core and cut it into two large pieces. Then you cut a grid into the mango and now you have perfectly easily accessible mango that you can just scoop out with a spoon or cut off with a knife. It's super easy and this is how I like to cut my mango all the time whenever I'm ready to enjoy some mango. And now you repeat the same steps, add the sea moss, add the cup and a half of fresh mango, add the dates, water, and blend until smooth. You'll notice the consistency is almost the same as using the frozen mango. Now I'm all done. I have three jars of fruit infused sea moss gel. You can keep the sea moss gel in the fridge for three to four weeks. You definitely want to refrigerate. It is perishable. 
and you can keep it in the freezer for up to three months. One good hack is to put it in an ice cube tray and then add that to your smoothies each day. And here's just another look at the consistency of the mango infused sea moss gel. Looks delicious and you can eat it just out of the jar like that. I have my sea moss gel here, the very first one that I made with the frozen mango. And this is the one that was sitting in the fridge for about an hour. It did thicken up a bit, but I just want to show you the texture and consistency. And you can enjoy it like this. It's super good. It almost tastes like mango applesauce. It's great. So a couple of tips for when you're making your fruit infused sea moss gel. You definitely want to leave it in the fridge for a few hours before you consume it just to give it some time to thicken. Definitely make sure you soak your dates. The dates also help to make it a creamy consistency. And like I mentioned, it helps to sweeten the sea moss. You can use frozen or fresh fruit. Both give you great results. Just make sure that you're using organic for the best quality. And of course, you can add superfoods while blending your fruit infused sea moss gel. You can add bladder rack, you can add turmeric. Those are some great additions to enhance your sea moss, especially the bladder rack. The bladder rack coupled with the sea moss enhances the benefits of the sea moss gel. You can find more information and further instructions on how to make this fruit and sea moss gel on my website at goodfoodbaddy.com. It's linked below in the description box. And you can also find other videos on my channel for how to prepare sea moss, how to make elderberry ginger infused sea moss, even how to make vegan gluten-free sea moss gummies, and tons of other ways that you can incorporate sea moss into your daily diet. So so definitely check out those links below and check out my site at goodfoodbaddy.com. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and if you give it a try, definitely leave a comment below in the description box. I'd love to hear what you think. Bye! Mm. <laughs> so good.